Welcome to the Daily News. Uh, Everton have confirmed that Farad Mashiri has granted a period of exclusivity to the Free King Group to take over at Everton Football Club. Uh, all parties will now work together to conclude this process. Uh, Dan Freakin wants Everton and Roma to work together with a focus on academy players. The idea is for Everton and Roma to trade youth players and have them gain more experience playing overseas. That's just one of the things that the Free King Group are looking to implement at Everton, obviously reducing costs, uh, making commercial growth and, you know, player trading. But in buying low, selling high, that kind of thing, to try and get Evan back on a level footing. Uh, there was reports out of Italy today. Roma have just posted 25% increase in their net profits as well for the last 12 months. So really, the freaking groups and taking over there has started to turn the fortunes of Roma around. And that is what we will all be hoping they can do at Everton Football Club. Lots of other bits around it. Uh, people saying that this deal could actually be done and completed completed within four to six weeks um, because of all the stuff that the freaking group have already presented in terms of evidence and money ready and all of the other stuff that goes with it. So it could be a takeover that is concluded quite swiftly. Uh, Everton and Aston Villa have apparently completed both the Tim Arog Banam and Lewis Dobbin deals. Uh, Arog Banam joining Everton from Aston Villa on a permanent deal, the medical Joined, uh, apparently done yesterday. The story then says Lewis Dobbin joining Aston Villa from Everton. He is currently having his medical at Aston Villa. Uh, then the documents will be signed off and all done and announced. And again, if this is a way that you have to get round PSR, then so be it. We've done these stories this week. I've talked about, you know, the the thing with Lewis Dobbin and the opportunity to go to Aston Villa and be developed by Emery and Villa using them to bring off the bench with a pace and Everton getting a position that they really need another player in, Irog Boonham. And obviously he played 15 times for Villa last season, 32 times for Queen's Park Rangers in the championship. We've actually done a little bit of a scouting video on him. Just a little bit about, about his background. I spoke to James Alcott, who is a QPR fan. He obviously gave me the, the lowdown on Irog Boonham's time at QPR. So check that one out. Jack Harrison is coming back to Everton from Leeds United. The loan deal has now been agreed and completed. That is according to Fabrizio Romano today. He's normally got a good record with these things. It isn't exactly breaking news. This deal has been going on since the last week of the season. Um, I think everyone knew Harrison was on his way back. Leeds United had initially wanted Everton to commit to a permanent deal next summer. But uh, right now, the only details we're getting is that it is a loan deal. Harrison spent last season on loan at Everton, three goals and three assists. We'll be hoping for a lot more this season uh, from Jack. But he did work hard. He did bed in quite well. Sean Dykes likes him uh, and he knows exactly what he's getting for him. And just right now, while Everton are trying to get themselves a bit more stable and trying to move money around and, and pad the squad out, then uh, this is a good deal, I think. Uh, Everton, another story rather, Everton have reportedly bid €13 million Euros for Manchester City right-back Isek Kabore and would like to get the deal done quickly. He spent last season on loan at Luton Town. He played 24 games and got two assists in the Premier League. He is 23 years old. I find it a little bit curious, I must say, that a lot of the links that Everton have had over the last few weeks have all been to right-backs and left-back. There's been none when we've only got, really, Michalenko. I know Ashley Young can play there, but he can also play right-back. So it is a bit weird that Everton, there doesn't seem to be any links with left-backs. I just find that a little bit mad. Uh, Everton also linked with Ilian and Dai again today. Uh, reports coming out of France that he wants to join Everton. That, again, is another curious one to me. It really is, considering the money. I think he only scored three times last season in 45 games, I think, for Marseille or something like that. Not exactly what Everton are looking for. Everton need goals, pace and goals. Um, if we continue to buy players without a record of scoring goals, we will continue to struggle to score goals. It has to change. Last season, we didn't score anywhere near enough goals 
we have to identify players who we used to putting the ball in the net. There are plenty around in Europe that are, and people will go, well, where are you getting them from? There is lots around Europe, younger players as well. Uh, and that's the areas Everton, in my opinion, should be targeting. That is it for the news day. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, thanks for watching. See you later.